Hey guys, we are back at Hangman's Alley, and today we are building uh, a little more on the roof. I guess you could say uh, we're going to build the penthouse today. We have a, a little bit of housing as well as a lounge area here. A little more private than the other housing we've built uh, previously. It was a lot of fun uh, figuring out exactly how to fit some more structures up here, but I'm pretty excited with the way it turned out, and... Uh, I'm happy to share it with you guys. So let's get started, shall we? We're gonna start things off with a curved shack wall and roof combo from the metal tab. I really like the way they look, um, you know, compared to the square existing structures. And so we're going to place that down for the outer wall of this room and then uh, just slap a floor into place. And now that we have the basic structure of the room in place, we'll take another one of these curved walls and we'll create a hallway by placing it right up against the brick wall there. There we go. And then we just need a corner piece to finish off that hallway. Nice looking pretty good. Now that we have this first room mostly complete, we're going to go ahead and extend out this floor. Now you can see I had a little bit of trouble snapping it into place there, so we're just going to move that wall and then snap some flooring in. Now for the rest of the floor, I'm going to use some of these quarter boards. It helps me change up the texture a little bit so we don't have the same exact floor repeated over and over again. It also has a little more versatility because of the quarter boards we can decide exactly how big we want the floor to be. And by snapping all the floors together, it actually creates a nice even surface that we can build on compared to the you know uneven roof that we're actually on top of right now. now I really like this little nook up here at the top of the alley. It's very well protected. And now for the roof, we're going to go back and use some more of these quarter floorboards now this roof isn't quite the standard size, it's a little bit smaller, and this is one of my favorite techniques for making a smaller sized roof. We're just going to take four of these floorboards and just snap them on into place. Now you can see they stick over the edge there a little bit, so we're just going to use place everywhere to just glitch them together to make a smaller roof. Just a matter of getting them lined up. Now the floorboards were a little on the high side, so we're going to go ahead and use place everywhere to just inch them down so that they're making contact with the wall. I'm just making sure everything's lined up. Nice. For the second room we're going to build up here, we're going to go into the wood tab and grab a shack wall and roof combo and just snap that into place so that it's even with the edge of the roof there. Now we're just going to place some end caps on the wall and roof combo. You can see that glitches into the brick there too much, so we can use place everywhere to bring that on out. Now this part of the structure is going to be fairly open, so we can just take a standard wood roof and snap that onto place. And then we'll just need a way to support it, so we'll go into the homemaker tab and grab one of the uh, shack columns here. There we go. And we just want to place that under the roof and we don't want it to clip through the sides or the top of the roof at all. So just got to line it up and we can use the outline there to make sure it's not uh, breaching through the top. Although you can see it clips through the side there just a little bit. So we just move it back into place. That looks pretty good. Although it's not touching the ground at all. So to fix that, we can go into place everywhere and just increase the size by 10%. And then we just go ahead and move it back into place. Nice. Now we're going to go ahead and add some railings to keep people from falling off. And I really like these uh, wood fences that, I don't know, they look like they're falling apart. It really just adds to the junky feel to the place. But you can see since we glitched one of the floors into the brick wall there, I can't snap the smaller piece into place. So we can use place everywhere to just inch it along. And then the double wide railing there, we can just snap on in. 
and it'll look a little extra junky. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're going to grab a couple of railings here and place them on these floorboards up against the metal wall. There's a little bit of a gap, and so these railings will cover that gap up nicely. But they do glitch through the wall, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and use Place Everywhere and just lower them down a bit. Just so they're not glitching through the wall. And it almost looks like the uh, wood bits here are just used to patch some holes in the metal. Back to the Homemaker tab to grab a ladder so people have a way to get up onto the roof and walk over to the next structure we're going to build. And so we just want to place that up against the roof there, but we don't want it to glitch through too much. And that looks pretty good. When we were building the roof earlier, I neglected to cover up this gap here. So we're going to take another one of these quarter boards and just use it to fill in the gap. Uh, it'll also provide a little platform for a staircase so we can get down into this section of the roof. Just a matter of lining it up so it doesn't clip through with the other side of the roof there. Now that that platform is in place, we can go ahead and take one of these half walls and just use it to support that floorboard. We just want to line it up so it doesn't glitch through too much, but I think it's glitching through the wall, and sure enough it is. And now that's too far over, so we can use Place Everywhere to shrink it down about 10%, and that should do it. Nice. And for the other side, we're going to use a different half wall just to change up the textures there a little bit. And we're just going to glitch that on into place. And now for the stairs, we're going to go into the scaffolding tab and use these metal stairs that are kind of rusted out. They match really well with the rest of this build. Just a matter of lining it up and getting it as close as possible to the uh, brick wall there so we have as much space to build in as possible. Nice. Now for the structure itself, we're going to go ahead and go into the wood tab and use uh, one of these corrugated steel walls. And we just want to place that up against this existing brick wall here. And we want it as close as possible without glitching through. So I'm just using the wall there to line it up. With the wall in place, we can just snap this roof on. And I really like this one with the cloth there. It just really has a thrown together feel to it. And then with the roof in place, the other wall just snaps on in, although it does clip with that platform, but that's an easy fix. And now instead of just snapping another wall into place over here and create just a boring boxy structure, we're going to go ahead and take some half walls and just support this one corner of the roof. And it has an added bonus of creating a makeshift doorway off to one side. So we just want to line it up with the roof, get it facing the right way, the straight edge facing out, I think, is best. And then just get it so it's attached but not clipping through. And now for the other side of the corner, we're going to use a different half wall, very similar to how we built that platform earlier. And again, we just want to line it up with the roof there so it's attached but not clipping all the way through. And then, of course, we want it touching the other half wall as well. Just raise it up a little bit. Nice. Now I've shown off this technique before, but we're going to make a little makeshift window using the chain link fence here. It has a really nice junky feel to it. And I don't know, it. I just like the way it looks, almost uh, like a security uh, gate on a window. Just a matter of lining it up so it clips through with the wood there. And then we're going to use one of these uh, shack railings to just create the bottom support. We just want to get that so it's making contact with the ground, but we don't want the fence clipping through it. For the final structure we're going to build today, we're going to use one of these prefabs from the wood tab, and we're just going to use place everywhere to get it into place and then sink the floor down below the roof, just so we can use the existing roof as the floor. Now I wanted this structure to be a little wider than the prefab is naturally, so I'm going to go ahead and take one of these shack roofs snap it into place, and then use place everywhere to just inch it back until it's about the right distance that I'd like. And I'm using the half wall there as a measuring tool. I'm just going to move it back just a little bit. Now for the support, 
we're just going to use one of the shack walls here. And I originally thought that would look good, but I opted to use a more junky one. Looking back, I should have left that half wall in place, but, you know, it is what it is. So now I'm going to take the half wall and we're just going to put it into place. And it needs to make contact with the prefab as well as that outer wall. But I didn't want it to glitch through too much. So you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble lining it up correctly. But I think that's it there. But now we still have that gap. So we can use place everywhere to just move that wall back. And then, of course, we're going to have to inch the roof back a little bit as well. I think that looks pretty good. Now I want to close off the gap in the back of this structure. So we're going to take one of these really junky walls and just glitch that into place. And now we're going to take some of these window boards and just place them on the wall to just to add a little bit of texture to it. Just make it look a little bit unique from any of the other junky walls that we have in the settlement so far. And you can see there I'm having a hell of a time getting that to snap into place. There we go. So here is the shack all completed. And you can see uh, there's some food laid out there and a little bit of alcohol for the brewmaster. Looks like there's some crates for some supplies as well as some uh, barrels with some finished product. And of course we have a brewery workbench. That comes from a mod, I believe uh, it's Northland Diggers. I'll go ahead and link all of the mods I used in a Google Doc in the description. But this shack turned out really junky. I'm very happy with it. You can see uh, there's quite a few bottles there behind him. He has been very busy. I mean, why buy alcohol when you can make it? Especially considering there's a finite amount of alcohol that would have survived the bombs. I really like how you can see through the wall too. It's That really looks very uh, thrown together. And of course, it's right up against, what is that, a water tower, maybe? Uh, anyway, now we can head this way to some of the housing we built earlier. And as we approach, you can see uh, one of those rope bridges. Now I detailed how to make that in my Gunner Shops video. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'd suggest you uh, check that out. Now uh, now that we're on this roof here, let's drop down and check out the housing we built earlier. You can see uh, this is a pretty well protected area. That wall there is one of the inside walls of the alleyway. And you can see on the table here we have some cards laid out. Looks like some Mentats and alcohol. Little chem box. More alcohol there on that ledge. Now walking over here, looks like we have uh, some meats hanging out, ready for grilling. Little cooking area. And you can see why this would be the penthouse. Look at that view of the alley. Uh, this place is really coming along nicely. Well, let's check out some of the sleeping areas. So the first area we come across is a little more open, not quite as private. And you can see uh, you have some weapons on the wall there. Looks like uh, some pieces of power armor there. Maybe that's a trophy from a battle. You can see another rifle there leaning up against the bed. Now we can head through this little hallway here and check out uh, some officer quarters you can see uh, he has a nice little steamer trunk there as well as uh, some plants growing and his own uh, personal ham radio looks like some ammo laying on it on that table as well And then of course we can go back through the hallway and out onto the little patio area. That probably is my favorite thing about building in Hangman's Alley. I just love these little areas where you can tuck structures into. It really feels like uh, it was part of the vanilla game. 
that's definitely something I was trying to do, especially with this build, but a lot of the builds here at Hangman's Alley. Well, let's check out the other housing unit we built. And climbing the ladder here, we get a great view of the rest of the alleyway, of course. And walking over here, we have some more seating. Looks like uh, these guys were having quite the party. And uh, a Gauss rifle as well. I guess after you have a couple of beers, you take some pot shots at people walking down the street. Now going down the stairs here, you get a great view of the communications area we built in the previous video. And then of course we have uh, some private seating. I mean, if you have a view like that, you gotta have a chair sitting out here. Now this is a much simpler shack. You can see there's some explosive crates there, as well as that makeshift window we built earlier. I really like the way that looks with the corrugated steel and the wood, with the chain link fence. Just a great mix of textures and materials. Then of course he has some rifles on the wall there as well. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Leave me a comment down below if you have any thoughts about this build or any of my other builds. Subscribe! If you want to see when my next video goes live, we should be back here at Hangman's Alley for the final build before the completed settlement tour. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and until then, enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.